Yo, what's up, guys? I go by the name of Miki Monard. Shout out to Sports Scene and Adidas. You are watching The Weekend Turn Up. Huh. Got him, I got him and went. Let him and went to the bank. I'm who these mummies should think, but all of this is dead. The dead is a plank. This is stinky and whack. This is stuck with no plan. I'm high up on top in the ranks. My ground up story starting with my sneakers is basically, yo, it's giving Adidas women's added form solution, purple sneakers. These just remind me of how I started. You know, I started off as a very colorful, sweet child and I'm just growing into that. It's maturing up and it's getting better and it helps me um, with my music because I can also switch sounds and get creative. You know, I can play with different genres, some that are deep and some that are playful. This is just amazing, you know, like I, I really love my Adidas kicks. Got some features thinking they heroes, they whack at the I be hitting, they dropping the they ain't be hitting. I'm reason you quitting, you're hitting, but always been missing. I laugh, I'm the girl, you be dissing, but wishing to be. All of these gullies is all scared of me. I am the mummy, they look up to me. My flows is all detrimental, kill a b it ain't accidental. Ride a beat, man, I kill a man on me. I'm rough, I don't rock with channel, so he trusted that I'm sentimental, cause I in the middle, middle, walk on a contrapedal. Me, I'm hard to handle, try to cheat, man, I end the scandal. She a kick, man, I blow a candle. So, my musical background is one that has been unique. I feel like I'm one person that uh, just came off of passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to, I love music from the age of four. So, growing up, it just grew into that. And I officially started making music in 2017, just after I finished school. And, you know, I just, I dropped a hip hop song on Facebook and it was called Backwater. And it started becoming a thing. And then I used to just drop on SoundCloud. I never really had a team or assistance and all of that. But as a young female artist, I just said to myself, you know, I'm pushing my passion. I want to do this. I want to inspire other girls that never really, you know, have these opportunities or have, you know, those opportunities present themselves to them. Uh, I'm one of the people that had to work hard. I worked hard, like, in a way that's fair. Because as women, you come across a lot of obstacles. You have people that want to sleep with you because of maybe your brand or because of what you said on a song or because of how you look entirely. But for me, personally, I just always focused on my grind. I'll just make music and drop it and connect with my fans. So I feel like my fans and social media is what helped me grow to become the Mickey Monarch that people know. Get scam or fault before I land On my bed, I made a man Tap out, tap out, tap out Uh, so my sound and style My sound is I am versatile Meaning I am not grounded to one specific genre of music Like I'm not a hip-hop artist only I am someone who's, you know what I'm the whole package So I listen, I do dancehall, I do Afrobeats, I do r and B, I I do hip-hop, everything besides jazz I don't really like jazz I feel like it's a bit too soft for me So, um, yeah, I, I just infuse myself in each and every sound that I hear. If I hear that it's a hip hop track, I want to rap, I'm going to do that. I'm going to sing, I'm going to dance, I'm going to act like I'm multi-talented. And also um, my sound is just for everybody. I feel like everyone can relate to my sound, whether it's a female, uh, male, whether it's a child, whether it's anybody can relate to my music. My look is also inspired heavy by my personality. I'm one person that can fit into any space. I can engage with anybody, whether I can speak to you, whether you're from the suburbs, whatever, where Wherever you're from, I can actually, you know, vibe with you. And then moving up to my leggings. Oh, wow. I really love these because they're very tight and they fit me so perfectly. I mean, really? But then they are called the Adidas X. Tebe Makuku women's lilac leggings. Like, I just feel like these um, fit well with the present situation that I live. I'm growing into the music parts. And also, yeah, it just makes me feel very comfortable just seeing my body change also and embracing the changes, you know? Like having that tight fit, it makes me feel attractive. It makes me be comfortable and confident enough to do anything that I want to do. Sometimes I want to jog, you know? Sometimes I just want to dance, especially me, I love dancing when it comes to my arts. So leggings like this actually just make me feel more comfortable in my skin they make me want to do more and yeah i just feel really cozy hate me see the girl then i don't know crazy me pull up man and go for gazy me a boss you cannot come blame me go when you try come share me try it up well okay so i have an ep it's called the baddie factory it's my latest body of work while a lot of people uh, misunderstand uh, the concept of a woman that's called a baddie i feel like people like to you know put that in a certain 
basic level. But I, I feel like with this project, I want people to understand that the women that are baddies are actually, you know, just strong women that are not emotional beings. Baddies are people who, str who are strong and we like stand up and continue doing whatever we're doing. We focused on working hard, getting our money, sustaining our families and just looking cute, keeping it cute. You know what I'm saying? So the Baddie Factory is uh, a project that has versatile sounds, dominant is hip hop. You have uh, dancehall, you have R&B. Um, in this project, I just wanted to empower women that are called baddies that, hey, listen, guys, continue doing what you do. Love yourselves. And also just to make them develop a lot of self-love, especially when it comes to the body. I just wanted to make women feel comfortable enough to be who they are and flex in their skin. Tap out, tap out. Got him, I got him and went. Let him and went to the bank. I'm who these mummies should stand, but all of this is dead. The dead is a plan. This is stinky and whack. This is stuck with no plan. I'm high up and top in the ranks. I pull up and stop in the plans, but she had no plan. So I have a project uh, called Impilus Fazana, which means the life of a woman gets Zulu. Um, that project is focused specifically on single mothers. Uh, I just wanted to stretch out my versatility and just let um, all the single mothers in the world know that they are highly appreciated. We need to recognize the fact that they're powerful. I mean, being a single parent, raising a child alone is not easy for any woman. So me, I just give respect to single mothers. And I wanted to just tell them that no matter what you went through, um, no matter what you've gone through, no matter what you're going through, you will get out of it and you will succeed. Hence, I have a song called Inobe, which means win. And you're going to tell all those people about that you're not going to make it. And you're going to show them that you've made it in life. So that's what that project is about. Tap out, tap out. Get scam my fault before I land. On my bed, I made a man. Tap out, tap out, tap out, tap out, uh. Okay, so guys, my top is giving. It is a Adidas Teba Magugu women's Lilac tank top. So I really love it because it represents like, you know, we're going up, we're not going down, we're going to the top. It's showing me that whatever I've been doing, just staying consistent in my craft and building up, continuing and just believing in myself, actually just, you know, it's taking me to levels where I've never been in my life. When I wear something like this, it gives me that confidence and that feel that, hey, look, I can still boss it up. I can still make it sexy. I can still keep it cute while I'm wearing this amazing Adidas top. See the girl that I don't know crazy. Me pull up and go for gazy. Me a boss, you cannot come blame me. Go once you try, come share me. Try it out, but we still the same me. Well, my future plans are to take over the world. Guys, listen, I know it can sound crazy, but I want to be one of the first um, African artists to actually get a beauty award and get all these international awards. I feel like with my brand, uh, people can expect to see a lot of success and elevation and growth that came from a very authentic place. Because I feel like when people look back at my craft, they can see where I started from day one. There's videos of me when I was like, 17, 19, so you can see my growth as you go on. So I feel like that will be inspiring to people. And new music is coming. My new projects are just gonna be very heavy. It's I'm just gonna show off a lot of my versatility as I've always been doing. So stay tuned and stay ready. Hey, be on it. That's it from me. You were watching the weekend turn up. It is your homegirl, Mickey Monarch. Hit me on it. Period. Tap out, tap out.